Please welcome to the stage our golden anniversary alumni speaker, Steve Harms. Good morning. And what a great looking crew this is. It's my privilege to be up here today and uh, welcome the class of 73. Uh, a little bit about me, I grew up all the way 17 miles west of Fayette, down in Sumner, and uh, played all kinds of sports over there. And upon graduating in 1969, I wanted to become a teacher, become a coach, and also uh, have a lot of fun. And I accomplished all of those over here at Upper Iowa. But it was a, uh, my journey here was kind of uh, interesting because I wanted to play football. And uh, being from Sumner, I was right in the middle of Wartburg, Upper Iowa, and Luther. And uh, Luther came to see me the first time and uh, wanted to uh, have me come up there to play football for the, for the Norsemen. So they convinced me to do that. So I went through the process, enrolled, was accepted, had a uh, financial package of, I don't remember what the, the number was, and I was ready to become a uh, uh, head to Luther. Be real honest, the facilities up there were a little bit better. The trout fishing up there was a little bit better. <laughs> and I could still get back to the Sumner area to shoot pheasants. So it was a perfect match there also. But uh, my senior year, I got a call from the principal's office and he said a couple guys wanted to see me. So I said, okay, fine, what did I do now? But uh, went to the principal's office and there was uh, Mike Olson and Jim Kilbreth, the two football coaches at Upper Iowa, head coach and assistant coach. And they wanted me to, to come to Upper Iowa. And I said, well, I already committed to, to Luther but, uh, you know, I keep my options open. I, I loved Upper Iowa even then. My dad and my uncle, Becky's uh, dad went to school here and uh, played for Doc Dorman. Uh, Mal was a little All-American. My dad was a captain of the, I think, a 1944 football team and uh, uh, played under uh, Doc Dorman. So I had a connection over here at Upper Iowa too. So I said, okay. Send me what my, give me a financial package and I'll make a decision. And they did that and believe it or not, the financial package at Upper Iowa was $100 more than what I was going to get at Luther. <laughs> you know, and back then, $100 was a lot of money. So uh, I decided to become a, a peacock and uh, have been proud, uh, have been a proud peacock ever since. So that's kind of my story there. But just a little, uh, you know, one of our uh, Republican candidates for uh, president, uh, Nikki Haley, has been talking about a competency test for anybody over 75 in Congress and, uh, of course, the president also. So I thought about that and knowing some of the, the people that were in our class, I thought maybe it'd be good to uh, check the competency of this crew now, <laughs> especially after 50 years. So uh, I got a little, I got help from uh, Andrew's team to, to give me a few facts, but uh, who can tell me the number of, of uh, graduates that we had in, in 1973? How many? 229. Of that, and this is a, the number that I'm, I'm Andrew, nothing uh, say bad against you, but uh, his, his records indicate 137 are currently still alive. Out of 229 to 137. Now that sounds like that's a pretty good, uh, a pretty tough number, but uh, that's what you came up with. So out of that, who was a homecoming queen in 1973? Janice Jones, Nedelecki. He married Richard in 1972. Class president. Was it Adrian uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look over here to my uh, buddies on the Foxes because evidently two of the 
illustrious foxes were on the student government, which is hard to believe. I know they were very popular guys, but I didn't think they were that popular. I thought there had to be some type of criteria that would weed them out. But Jim Fuzzy Clark and, and Jim Parsons were supposedly on student government, and I don't know if, I don't know if you guys remember who the president was or not. And as I said, they never attended a meeting. <laughs> That's my boys. Yeah, football, football record our senior year, four, five, and one. We started out uh, with four wins and one tie against Simpson, but then lost five in a row. But uh, I, I blame that on uh, one guy, Rick Gerber, and he's not here. I don't think I saw him come in. But we were playing Wartburg, and uh, uh, Gerber broke his leg up there at Wartburg, and uh, after we lost, him, we lost five games in a row, so uh, so I can't believe Gerber's not here. So we had a four, four, five, and one. Upper Iowa president at that time, Aldrich Paul. Aldrich Paul. We currently have seven Hall of Fame members in the class of '73. I'm proud to be one of them: Jim Parsons, Larry Borst. Over there, Al Martindale, who was a trainer, uh, Rick Knipper, Dick Ingvall, and Mike Exline. So I would say, I, I'm not sure, and we probably don't have a record, but I would say we probably have more Hall of Famers out of that illustrious class than any other class. So to, to the Hall of Famers, congratulations. 54% of the class has made a contribution to, to Upper Iowa since graduation. 54%. So thank you for those. And uh, for those that uh, haven't yet, I think we're still, uh, Andrew can still visit with you. So uh, <laughs> here are the organizations that were involved back there during our t tenure here. The Foxes, of course, and the Foxes are, there's a number of them here, and uh, we're celebrating 55 years as an organization, not all on campus. I think uh, a few years ago we got kicked off the campus, so, uh, <laughs> but we were still a very uh, socially active group. And uh, we love Upper Iowa, and a number of the guys came back to, uh, to be here this weekend, so thanks for that. I got Sigma, T Sigma Tau, Bush, Teeks, Kappa, APO, Choir, Gamma, Pi Kappa, Ecology, Brotherhood, the I, and there's a number of I girls here. Uh, they should have been expelled from campus too. But, but I, I married one of them, so I can't say too much. The SOBs, that's a quite a crew too. The band, science club, vets, and campus wise. Now one, one real question is back in 1973, how many bars were in Fayette? Six. Foxes, you ought to know that one. Six. Six bars? Can you name them? Bars you can. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You know, I didn't, I didn't go to many of them, so I don't know. I'm going to defer to you experts in the bar area. Mullins, too. Okay. So that was quite, that was quite a group. But uh, well, just finished with saying that uh, I think the atmosphere on campus has been very positive. I've been here uh, most of the week for board meetings. There's a number of the trustees that are that are here for breakfast with us this morning, and uh, things are going the right direction. We got a long ways to go yet, but we're making progress, and uh, we're just tickled that everybody came back for a, for a great weekend, and uh, let's get a victory this afternoon. Go Peacocks! <laughs>